All right, folks, how you doing? Russell True Results 303.com. Check out the website. Link in the description box. Mind, body, spirit, fitness, put in the healing, back in health. Coming at you today with a video on just mobility and stability of the shoulder girdle. You know, working on those tight areas for you. Like they say, if you can't get your arms straight up over your head, you're going to have some issues. Especially when you're starting to do overhead presses and things like that. You know, if we've got restricted range of motion, unfortunately, it can lead to injury. And like I said, I have my injury with the knee. So now I have to kind of take some steps back and I might as well work on some trouble areas. For me, it is shoulders. And of course, knees and hips. I was a big hockey player growing up. So, you know, it's just comes with the territory. So we're going to go with some simple stretches and myofascial release for the rotator cuff. And for those of you who don't know, the rotator cuff has four muscles. We've got the subscapularis, supraspinatus, intra, intraspinatus, and teres minor, I think it is. No matter. I was trying to go off this. See, yep. So I got the book right here just so you can see. Check it out right there. So the subscapularis is in the front. It's directly attached to the shoulder blade. And then the other three are on the back. All right. So basic stretches. You can do these with a partner. Of course, I don't have a partner, so um, um, I got this stick right here. It's a golf club. You can use any form of a stick, broom, stick, whatever you want, right? So we're going to grab it, right? We're going to just come up like we're making a field goal, touchdown, whatever the case may be. So we're here, and then we're just going to bring it back. want that at a 90 degree, just like that. From here, we're going to grab the bottom, and you're just going to gently push forward. You're right here, getting you into that stretch. Nice and gentle. These are very sensitive muscles. So we're not trying to freaking torque it and do all this crazy stuff. Just a nice, gentle stretch. Right? We're going to go the other way. We're going to go down. This is where my flexibility is horrible. So now we're here. Same thing. Trying to get that up at that 90. If not, now we're just pulling this forward. Pushing that arm back. Gentle. These are tight areas. They're sensitive. This is where a lot of people are going to have those tight shoulders and will lead to injury. There's those two stretches for you. Nice and simple. I use a golf club, whatever you want. Hockey stick, broom stick, whatever you need. Next, we're going to go into, like I said, more of a myofascial release, trying to find those trigger points where. You know, you have that muscle is knotted up. And of course, we always want to do the myofascia first. So I did it backwards for you. I did the stretching first. We want a myofascia first, which is going to what I'm going to show you right now. And then we go into the stretch because it's hard to, to stretch a muscle that's already tight or has a knot in it. So we actually have to break that knot up. And then we go into that stretch. So you see my leg here. We're going to put it on the outside. So it's on the outside, foot down. We're going to bring on the inside of the knee. Then we're going to come up under the armpit. Now, if you want to hit the front, then you can just push into it. If not, if we're trying to hit the back, the supra, infra, or terrace, we're going to come in here. You can put that arm down, arm up, however you want. Then that knee, we're just going to push that knee in, right? So once that knee goes in, now you can see we're digging. We're digging the edge of that in there and you can kind of move it up and down till you find that tender spot sometimes you got to move it I bring it out right there go that's tender and you can just hold on to it right like i said you can apply the pressure with your knee there you go now we're applying that pressure as much pressure as we need once again same thing on the other side leg up outside down inside a knee we're here and then with that knee, we're just pushing that knee in, digging it right in to the rotator cuff muscle. It could be the lat as well you could be hitting, wherever those tight areas are in there. Like I said, for me, sometimes I'll actually put it into the pit, armpit, and push down on it until I can find a tender spot. You'll be able to find it if, you, if you've got a tender spot. Push it in. 
like I said, you always want to do this first, and then we can go into those multi, those different stretches for the rotator cuff. So, once again, I hope this video helps. If you have shoulder issues, if it's something that that's an issue for you, you definitely need to work on it because if we're restricted in our range of motion here, you know everything's going to go south from there. You're going to have a lot of injuries and a lot of problems. So, once again, I hope this video helps. Subscribe to the channel. Share and like these videos.